We wanted to make sure we were doing the fan base justice in every decision that we made along the way. They were really at the forefront of our minds. Five Nights at Freddy's is crushing it right now, and it's beautiful to see because it's another massive win for the fans. So I think for those hardcore Five Nights at Freddy's fans out there, they can rest assured that we are taking care of their world, taking care of their game, and taking care of these characters. And a lot of people are bringing up the Marvels because the Marvels is set to release very soon from Disney, the next entry in the Marvel Cinematic Universe or the MCU. That movie has a production budget of nearly $300 million and it's looking to underperform massively from the previous film that made over a billion dollars being Captain Marvel. Yet Five Nights vs. Freddy's on a $20 million budget. $20 million budget. And after the opening weekend, sits at $130 million worldwide. And this is a film that was also released on Peacock. So you can watch it from the comfort of your own homes, yet people are still going out to see it because event films matter. Things that are made for the fans matter. This is another massive win for fans. And now we're looking at the Marvels, looking at them potentially losing hundreds of millions of dollars right now. And the fact that Five Nights versus Freddy's is getting eviscerated by the critics. And by the way, they're doing that. Why? Why are they doing that? Well, there's two reasons. There's two. One of them is they're just out of touch. They just don't understand. Like this was a product that was made for the fans based off of a video game made for fans of the video game, which is how it should always be. But then there's also the fact that the creator of Five Nights at Freddy's is a Trump supporter. And of course, you know, the critics can't ever compliment anything if Orange Man Bad is anywhere near it. Scott Cawthon is heavily involved and is watching every single shot. So the critics have completely been annihilated, destroyed, and embarrassed once again, which it's getting to the point where that's not really hard to do. But Five Nights vs. Freddy's is doing something pretty special, and we're seeing this across the board. Video game properties are taking over right now, whether that's movies, whether that's in television, it doesn't really matter. Video games are the biggest entertainment industry on the planet, and it's not even close right now. And when you're actually taking care of these properties, fans are going to go and support them. And then on the other side, you have the Marbles with a $300 million budget, and it might not even hit half of what Captain Marvel did at the box office. What the? And there's so many excuses out there. Oh, superhero fatigue. I've already destroyed that argument. Interesting how superhero fatigue didn't hurt Spider-Man 2. The theater experience is definitely better, and I think a lot of people are definitely going out to see it in the theaters because of that experience, because there is a lot of Easter eggs in this movie for fans. That's motivating more people to want to go as a group to see these things. This is what Star Wars used to have. Star Wars used to have that moment of, man, this is an event. I have to go with all of my friends. I have to go and see what the spectacle is like at the cinema. And this is minus just the movie. This is just talking about being there to be part of something. Star Wars has lost that. It's completely lost that. The Marvel Cinematic Universe has lost that completely. I remember going to see the Avengers opening weekend. And I watched the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe marathon prior to it. So it showed all of the lead up films prior to seeing the Avengers. And then you finally got to the Avengers and it was this unbelievable moment of fandom. And there was so much enthusiasm there and it's something you wanted to be part of. We don't have that anymore. It's nowhere to be found. We wanted to make sure we were doing the fan base justice in every decision that we made along the way. They were really at the forefront of our minds. Except at Five Nights at Freddy's. And I'm not even a fan of the franchise. And even I can appreciate what I was experiencing there. And I could appreciate the enthusiasm that I was feeling in the theater with so many people seeing like, oh look, there's that, oh look, there's that. Oh look, there's this YouTuber that I watch. It was beautiful and we need more of that. So even if you're offering it on Peacock for free, or at least if you have the subscription, people still would rather go to experience it in person with other fans. So I think for those hardcore Five Nights at Freddy's fans out there, they can rest assured that we are taking care of their world, taking care of their game, and taking care of these characters. This is what the MCU used to have. This is what Star Wars used to have. And neither one of them have it anymore. We need to get back to making things for the fans. Five Nights at Freddy's is set to be a massive success.
and The Marvels is set to be a massive flop. How much more obvious can it be for you nut jobs in Hollywood to understand that activists don't make good products? Activists are bad for your business. All of you freaks out there, all of you weirdos with pronouns in your bio, you are not good for any of this. You are a disease. You are a cancer spreading within all of these properties. And the people are sick and tired of it. And I think one of the exciting things is that we are making this movie for them, and I think they're gonna really respond to that. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for checking out this video, Solo Lost Money. Raylos are weird. Fuck Lucasfilm. Fuck Hollywood. Fuck these weirdo freaks. And we will talk to you later.